Hello, happy Tuesday. Uh, you know what that means. It's Tapping Tuesday, so we're going to talk about um, feeling uninspired today. Uh, and then, of course, we'll tap on it. So I, unfortunately, was feeling uninspired today in terms of some tasks that I assigned myself I needed to do. And it was really tough. I'm pretty sure you can relate. You feel like you're just trying to muscle through it and just push and just make yourself sit down and just crank it out. And sometimes that just doesn't happen. So I wanted to do a little bit of tapping on this because I actually, um, so oh, I need to gain my composure. So I am a little bit a little bit sweaty. I got back from a bike ride a little bit ago and <laughs> and uh, the reason I went out on the bike ride was because it was part of my plan to um, bring in some new inspiration. So let's talk about this a little bit. Sometimes when we're feeling just really, I don't know, kind of stressed out or you know, we're just not feeling like we want to do something, um, oftentimes Okay, let me be real. Sometimes, it may not be often, but sometimes the best thing that we can do is step away from it and then come back. And when we step away, what are we doing? Ideally, something that we enjoy, something that we find fun because the thing is, in the society that we live in today, hustle culture is rewarded, right? Go hard, no pain, no gain, you know, like, sit down and do it or hustle nonstop essentially um and there is value in that however it eliminates the possibility of any other way of doing things which is not okay actually because we are all different people we're all individuals and if there's only one way to do life it just it doesn't compute right so the thing is, we also need to be able to take a break and recharge and have fun and think about it whenever, well, okay. Ideally, when you go away on vacation, you have a really great time and then you come back to your everyday life, you return to work, you feel rejuvenated. You feel like, oh yes, I've had that break. I can actually give my attention, my focus to whatever it is that is demanding it in this moment. So it's the same kind of thing. We can shrink that down to a, a smaller scale in our everyday life, day to day, and see how it works for us. So I'll just uh, tell you today. Yeah, uh, as I mentioned, I went on a bike ride because I was just really running into a wall. You know, I was trying to do this task and I it was going snail's pace, if that. Um, and so I just thought, I'm not making any progress. There's no point in sitting here, staring at the computer, when maybe I just need to step away, let my mind um, just take a break, and then come back to it with fresh eyes. So that's, I guess, my recommendation. But let's let's do some tapping, and then uh, we'll see see how it goes. So starting on the side of the hand. Um, if you've never tapped before, just uh, follow along and repeat after me. Even though I feel uninspired to do this task, I completely love and accept myself. Even though I'm not feeling very inspired right now, but I really need to get things done. I accept that this is how I'm feeling right now and I choose to love and accept myself anyway. Even though I feel uninspired to do anything. And this is not helpful in getting things done. It's not productive. I completely love and accept myself anyway. Okay, top of the head. Feeling uninspired. Eyebrow points. Feeling uninspired. Sides of the eyes. I need to get things done. Under the eyes. 
but I just don't feel inspired to do anything right now under the nose. I acknowledge that I'm feeling this way. Under the mouth. I wonder if maybe there's a reason for it. Mm. Under the collarbones. Feeling uninspired. Under the arms. Lack of inspiration. Top of the head. I wonder if it's possible that I've been putting too much pressure on myself. Eyebrow points. What if the expectations I set for myself, size of the eyes, are a little too high? Under the eyes. And maybe that's why I feel uninspired to do anything. Under the nose. Because I don't want to fail under the mouth. And right now, I might be setting myself up to fail. Collarbones. So what if I gave myself permission to do less? Under the arms. What if doing one small thing could be enough? top of the head. This lack of inspiration. Eyebrow points. What if taking a step away from my to-do list, size of the eyes, could take some of the pressure off? Under the eyes. I give myself permission to explore this under the nose. I give myself permission to do something I enjoy under the mouth to do something fun. Collarbones. It doesn't have to be for the whole day. under the arms, but at least for a few minutes. Top of the head, so I can recharge eyebrow points and hopefully welcome some new inspiration. Sides of the eyes, and even if I don't, under the eyes, that's okay. because I'm human, not a machine, under the mouth. And sometimes I need to have some fun too, under the collarbones, so that I can come back to my work, under the arms, with renewed focus. All right, let that go. Take a wiggle if you need, stretch. Nice, easy breath in through the nose. Blowing it out through the mouth. Okay, so the takeaway here is that um, sometimes when we are feeling not as inspired to do something as we would like, it can be helpful to step away or change your focus to something else and come back. Because even though I think on surface level that looks like, oh no, you're just um, avoiding it, that's unproductive. Well, sometimes you need fresh eyes, right? Have you heard the saying, I need to you know, sleep on it and, and view whatever it is with fresh eyes. Same principle. Sometimes we just really need to disconnect for a bit so that when we come back to whatever it is, we're able to see it with renewed inspiration. And honestly, even if this did not help you find that spark of inspiration, at least I hope that you did something fun and or that you enjoyed. 
and call that a win because even we can all use a little bit more fun. I'm pretty darn sure of that. So even if you do a tiny little bit of whatever task it is that you need to do, give yourself credit because it's more than nothing. So anyway, that's pretty much it for us for today on Tapping Tuesdays, talking about um, feeling uninspired. Hopefully you feel a little bit more inspired to try this tapping next time you are not feeling like doing whatever it is and um, that you take the time to treat yourself to doing something that you enjoy. So please come back next week, same time on Tuesday for our next episode of Tapping Tuesdays. Until then, take care and keep shining.